guys. All right, so um, I actually meant to make this video a little sooner than this. I'm on my way home now from my second uh, Pfizer vaccine uh, dose. So I had actually meant to record a video. Sorry. Okay. Um, I meant to make a video after my first one because honestly, with such varying responses to the vaccines, I think it's good to hear from people what their individual reactions to the doses are. I know I've watched plenty of them at this point because I've been curious. So, there we are, we're home. All right, so, um, yeah, like I just said, I got my second Pfizer dose about 15 minutes, no, more than 15 minutes because I had to wait at CVS for 15 minutes afterwards. Uh, I'd say about 28 minutes ago at this point. Um, so I got my first shot a few weeks ago, um, the Pfizer shot and honestly shot itself didn't feel like anything, teeny tiny little pinch and over. Um, my side effects, I had a sore arm that started a few hours after getting the vaccine. Um, and most of my symptoms did not actually occur until I want to say about 10 hours later I started getting them and the majority happened a little after that. I uh, had a headache was my big thing with the first one. Excuse me. Uh, a lot of fatigue and some general body aches and then uh, after that I had an on and off low, well, I don't know if you consider that low grade. I had a fever about just under 101 um, off and on. And honestly, it sounds like a lot, but it wasn't horrible. It felt like a very light flu, I would say. And that went on for about around 30 hours for me. Um, I was out of work, actually. I think it was for a day or two. Uh, because where I work, we do they do require us to have the temperature checks when you come in. Just to make sure you're doing okay. And um, my temperature was too high as a response to that first shot. Uh, so I could not work. Um, so yeah, that was my response to the first one. Now obviously we're on the second one and I do hear that this one packs more of a punch for most people, not everyone, because I know plenty of people who didn't have any real symptoms aside from maybe like a sore arm or a light headache after the second shot. Uh, so who knows, but I just know, you know, obviously I reacted the way I did to the first one so I was just assuming the worst for this one that way if it's not that bad then you know that's great uh, so um, I obviously I just got it it I would say it stung a little more than the first one I got I don't know if that's just you know the because of the way it's administered or if that's you know something else to do with it I don't know if anyone does know leave it down below the explanation as to why that might have been the case, but I mean, it lasted all like two seconds, so it wasn't, you know, it's it's nothing horrible. Um, and aside from that, obviously, I just got it, so I don't have any anything else going on just yet. So I will uh, be filming more. I will be updating you as things occur, as I get any more symptoms, things like that, to let you know how my experience goes with this one. And yeah, that's about it that so uh i'll be checking back in with you guys once anything else happens if anything else happens if not i will let you guys know that as well um and yeah we'll go from there my fiance has his shot tomorrow uh, so i'm really really hoping that my response to this isn't that drastic because i do have to drive him it's an, like a little bit over an hour each way to where he has his vaccine because it's pretty much wherever you can grab it at this point here um you do so we're gonna be driving him an hour each way tomorrow for his second dose so here's hoping i'm not like barfing or anything else like that tomorrow because that's really gonna suck driving all that way with that going on but you know we'll make it work because it's important uh, that we both get this done so yeah, I will check back in with you guys later at some point. I'll see you then. All right, so it is four hours since I have gotten my shot. 
I am just white. I am very, very tired. If you hear anything, by the way, um, my fiance is cooking in the background. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm just incredibly, incredibly tired. Like, very, very fatigued. Um, I'm kind of breaking into sweats. I'm very warm. And when I move around, my head just feels... Like, the only way I can literally describe it is, like, sloshy. Like, the smallest movement feels amplified. And my head feels heavy. Um, aside from that, my arm still isn't sore. Excuse me, I am a little bit nauseous. Um, but yeah, that's where I am about now. Um... I'm waiting for a friend to drop by. We are snake sitting for a couple of weeks, a little ball python. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and then after we have our little visitor here, I will probably be taking a shower and then napping a while. I, oh, I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. That's all I want to do. Anyways, yeah, just a quick update letting you know how things are going and I will update you more as the night goes on. We will see. So, we'll catch you again in a bit. Alright, so it is the next day now. Um, it's been about 26 hours since I had my second shot. I am so wiped. I am so tired. I've been like this all day, pretty much. And uh, so to fill you guys in between when I last recorded and now, um, overnight, I got about seven hours of sleep, which is pretty good, but I was pretty restless. I was tossing and turning. Realistically, I was in bed for about 11 and a half hours, so yeah, that's okay. I was just tossing and turning. I stayed up quite a bit. Um, I just felt really achy. My arm really started hurting. Like, it's not, like, as stiff as it was the last shot, but, like, it feels like somebody punched me really hard in the arm. Like, if you touch it, it's really tender. It hurts pretty bad. Um, and I'm still just, even now it hurts really bad, and I'm very achy and fatigued and I do have a fever which is a little over 101 degrees Fahrenheit um I'm just sitting on my porch getting some fresh air for a moment while I record this I, <laughs> I look just as crappy as I feel um, but yeah so I haven't had Oh, I had some light nausea, like, in the middle of the day today. It's, like, 5.30 now. Um, but I had some light nausea off and on. And headaches. I've just been taking some Tylenol to help with that. But, honestly, at this point, I just want to sleep. That's all I really want to do. I can try playing some games. I have, like, Monster Hunter Rise and the Story of Seasons. I have a hair in my mouth, too, apparently. There we go. Anyways, um, so I've been playing Nintendo Switch a bit, and even that, like, I can only play for a short time, and then I'm just, just too tired. So, uh, that's where I'm at now. Um, even then, nothing even remotely close to the things I felt when I actually had COVID, so totally worth it. Um, we'll see if anything changes. I have all these honeybees showing up on our lanai now, which is great. We were hoping to put some stuff out here for them to help them out. The bees need help. Um, anyways, though, yeah, so that's just my quick update. I'm gonna probably go inside now and take a nap. Uh, and just keep resting until this is gone. I'm um, supposed to be working tomorrow, and I, I'm hoping that this fever is gone by then. Because if not, I will unfortunately have to call out because I can't work with a fever. I mean, it makes sense. We don't want to 
risk anybody getting sick at work. So, so we'll see. Um, once again, I will update you as things progress and hopefully this starts getting better soon. I know last time I had quite a delayed response with my first shot. Um, it was about this point when some of my worst symptoms started coming home from the first shot, even though they weren't terrible. You know, that's how things played out. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that this is the worst it is and it, yeah. All right, so I will check in with you guys again later. See you then. Alright guys, so I don't even know when I last filmed. Um, it was yesterday at one point. I'm literally, I mean if you can't tell, I am literally recording this from my bathroom floor. I am so sick guys. <laughs> I, I know what I was saying. I think I said that I wasn't too bad that I'm being tired, but I have like the worst chills now. I'm just, I got goosebumps, I'm shaking, and I keep, oh, oh gosh, sorry, I'm really nauseous, that's why I'm in here. Um, I'm alternating literally between like sweating, like badly sweating, and then being freezing cold, which is where I'm at right now. And, uh, Oof, I am just incredibly, incredibly nauseous. Um, and last night, um, since I know I, I haven't filmed at all yet today aside from this, last night I was up all night until like 4.30, 4.40 this morning. I only slept for like four hours this morning. Um, I was up all night, um, puking. <laughs> um, and just having the same, like I just said, like chills, sweat, chills, sweat, back and forth. Um, and it is now, I don't even know what time it is, it is 7.01 p.m. Oh god, so, yeah, um, hoping, I mean, I, I seem to have had, have, yikes. I'm having these reactions a little bit later than a lot of people I know, but I'm also not the only people I know that's had COVID, and I do know some some people have said that the reaction to the vaccines is a little worse if you've already had COVID previously, and yeah, this sucks. Right now it sucks. Um, I'd still take it over actually having COVID though, obviously. Um, don't have any, the breathing issues that you do with COVID, so that's really nice, but um, this is mostly, at this point, chills, fever. My last temperature was 102.4. Um, we have some thunderstorms here at the moment and rain, so if you hear any of that. Um, anyways, yeah, just very sicky at the moment. So, just wanted to give you guys another update. Um, I can't tell if you can tell on here, but my cheeks have been like red, but I've been like really pale. <sighs> All right, well, I'm just gonna be sitting around in here trying to feel better. And uh, hopefully this doesn't last too long. I'm already out of work today and I'm hoping, I was hoping that I would be back tomorrow, but you know, obviously we are gonna play it by ear, so. All right, yep, I will check back in again later, hopefully with some better news. See you then. All right, um, holy crap, I'm a mess, it's fine. So the last time I spoke to you guys was, I don't even think I recorded anything yesterday. I think it was two days ago now. <sighs> All right, it's, it has been rough. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I made this video to begin with so that I could be transparent about my whole experience with the vaccines and well, it's been rough. I have been out of work. This is my third day. Um, today, t 
today all I have left is a fever. Um, keeps kind of bouncing back and forth. Ooh, I'm sweating though, which is good. Usually when I start sweating like this, it's a sign that my fever might be breaking. Um, but yeah, so all I have left right now is a fever and a little bit of fatigue. So, um, the last two days were the worst of my experience. Um, from getting that shot, the nausea was terrible. I th actually, I think the last time I, I could be totally wrong, so just ignore this if it's wrong, but I think the last time I actually recorded was when I was sick in my bathroom, literally vlogging from the bathroom floor. Um, I, it's, we're, we're getting better at this point, that's good. I will still take this over having COVID any day because, I mean, it, to be honest, I have, I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but I have heard, sorry, I have a truck right here, whatever. I have heard that um, the response to the vaccines was a little more severe as far as symptoms go in people who have had COVID previously, um, and sometimes in people who haven't had COVID, but for me, obviously, I had COVID previously, and I thought it might play a factor in, you know, having some more symptoms and I'm gonna assume that that's what happened here. Um, but even so, I just purely from, you know, this experience, like I said, I would rather go through this over and over again than actually have COVID again. It does feel very similar to having COVID in my experience, minus the breathing issues. And oh my gosh, that was for me the scariest part of actually having COVID. So, um, yeah, this is, I, I will take this any day over actually having COVID because not being able to breathe was absolutely terrifying. Um, anyways though, I think we have a new neighbor moving. I, I remember seeing him, he was touring the complex and touring the space across the hallway. Anyway, sorry, distracted distracted can't speak today anyway so um so yeah all i have left today is a little bit of fatigue and my temperature being a little bit high it was around 101 again um which is why i was an, unable to work i was really hoping it was going to uh last yesterday i was feeling a little bit better it was bad like throughout the day and then it got better and i was like oh you know maybe tomorrow's the day i go back to work this is great and last night it just started getting bad again and I woke up this morning I was like you know I'll play it by ear see how I'm doing in the morning and woke up took my temperature and it was a no-go so here I am but hoping tomorrow will be the day I can finally go back because um, aside from what I just mentioned I'm feeling okay uh, obviously I've been resting a lot I've been watching a whole lot of movies which is really fun, really fun. And, you know, just laying in bed, watching things. That's basically it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that's my experience. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film anymore after this. Maybe I will if something suddenly changes, but if not, um, yeah, my experience was nice for the most part. Okay, I wouldn't say it was nice, but you know, the fact that I can get rid of a whole lot of anxiety now knowing that in a couple of weeks from now I will be protected at least for what it sounds like is six months right now just from what they know so far. Um, it could be much longer than that but just knowing that I will not have to worry for six months especially where I work a job where I am in contact with people in theme parks all day long thousands and thousands of people. Uh, you know, it's scary. Uh, it's it's scary. Um, the parks have been doing an awesome job, uh, you know, putting policies in place to protect us and to protect people visiting, and that has been incredible. But, you know, no matter what, I think you're always, like, a little bit, like, worried. You never know. Um, for anyone who has been on this channel for a little while now, from when I, you know, actually caught COVID, I, I caught it so quickly, 
Um, I was in a store for such a short amount of time and it was literally the only place I had gone in so long. Like we were furloughed. Um, and I was just home and I went to one place and I had to get medication that I needed and that was it. It was like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden, like two weeks later, I was sick and I couldn't believe it. And so I know how fast it can happen. And so in for me, there's always a little bit of anxiety where you're wondering like, oh no, you know, that little small thing that happened right there, like, is that it? Am I gonna have this again? And I have had, I've known plenty of people at this point who have had COVID more than once. So that's always been a big fear. Um, but now this is really going to help. So I personally, my feelings on it are, I don't see why um, I wouldn't get vaccinated for this. That being said, I am also a firm believer that people should do what they feel is best for them. So obviously, you know, use your best judgment to do what you feel is best for you but as far as like my personal experience goes both having actual covid um a bad case of it as well as you know going through this experience i would i would take this experience over having that time and time again so yes i'm happy i got this done uh, i got it at cvs very very quick i made the appointments online which can be a little tricky i made my late at night um and you don't get like first pick of exactly where you want to go so i mean i drove over an hour for one of my vaccines and then my second one was a whole 10 minutes away which was really nice um uh but yeah each time i was in there it was super super fast they literally checked me in I walked in, I waited a max of maybe 10 minutes at each location to get my shot and then have the shot. You sit down for 15 minutes, I think it's 15 minutes normally and then if you are somebody or if you, in your pre-shot assessment you have indicated that you do have a history of responding poorly to vaccines or you know you have like a really strong response to aller like with allergies and things like that, um, they make you wait up to 30 minutes. So for me, I waited 15 minutes each time. Um, they had like a little timer like behind my seat and the nurses would come in and just check with you every so often periodically just to see if you were doing okay. And at the end of the 15 minutes, they ask you if you're doing good. And if so, they tell you you're free to go. And that was pretty much it. Um, I do recommend for anyone who has theirs coming up, just in case I would recommend having your vaccine, especially the second one, done uh, with like a day or two following that you'll have like away from work or you know any like excess like movement and things like that. I would give yourself a couple days to rest. I know that everybody can do that and I'm sorry. I know it's really rough. Um, some people just really don't have that option but you know do the best you can. Um, just ex expect that it could be bad. That way, if it's not, you know, it's a nice surprise. My fiance is, is it two or three days post his second vaccine? He was done the day after me. Sorry, I know it's noisy. Um, and he's had like pretty much nothing. He has fatigue and he's doing really, really well. So there you go. Some people respond excellent to these vaccines and really don't have any symptoms afterwards and some are you know a little worse than others like me um but you know well worth it in my opinion and uh yeah that's where we're at so anyways um like i said if anything else crazy happens i will check back in but i am not thinking that's going to be the case so yeah, I know that I was looking for videos like this to see how other people were responding to their vaccines and so I hope that somebody can, you know, watch this video and finds it useful. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm not a doctor so if you are experiencing symptoms or anything like that that you are worried about or if you have like other questions about things you might experience from the vaccines before you get your vaccine, um, obviously don't ask on here um 
the internet can throw out some a lot of misinformation call your doctor is that's what i would recommend or if for any reason you do not have a regular doctor that you are seeing call a local pharmacy um to get some more information there's a lot of places to get some information right now on this entire experience so just reach out to the right people who can give you proper information and i uh, i hope you are all staying healthy staying safe and uh doing well and i will see you all hopefully again soon Alrighty, see ya